Hi guys, we're in beautiful Entrada. The weather is perfect, the light is great, and we're about to give you a tour of unit number 30 on Entrada Trail. Surrounded by the red rock, there is a pond right over there, and uh, let's check it out. Where are the stats on this one, Michonne? Let's see. So we have a five bedroom, four and a half bathroom, the total square footage on this home is 4,391, and this home was built in 2002. And actually, just one more uh, important thing to notice before we get too far, right as you enter into the courtyard, there is a self-contained detached casita. For the sake of uh, the flow of this tour, let's start in the casita. So this unit is completely uh, detached as a mother-in-law suite, and it is walled off from the rest of the house, so it's entirely self-contained. Um, does not have a dinette, but it has its own full bath and a closet, and it's pretty much just a bedroom that's detached from the rest of the house. Some of these units have a dinette and can be turned into like a self-sufficient apartment, but this one is just a, basically a full-size master bed. property has a nice uh, front door with some custom touches. So as we enter into the living room, let me just show you some of these views. Your backyard is pretty private. The rest of the properties are below you and there's a, a stream running through a backyard. How cool is that? This living area has uh, high vaulted ceilings, and as you turn to the right off the front door, it takes you into an office that has a skylight right up above the desk. It looks pretty dark, but there's, there's about four light bulbs out, so. And it has its own uh, private powder room. Living room has lots of stone with custom tile work and just a small uh, patch of carpet. The living room is also pre-wired for uh, outlets in the in the floor, so that if you have any furniture that plugs in, that suffices for that. Uh, there's a, a little dining area right here with incredible views, and I'll just kind of walk around to give you guys the idea of the space. Um, as we enter the kitchen, it's granite countertops, gas cooktop. The appliances are wolf, but uh, you know their original age of the property shows in the appliances a little bit. There are some closets and storage that could be used as pantry. So this is just a utility closet. And that doorway here right behind Sean takes you into the laundry room. The laundry room has enough room for a small washer and dryer. And there's a sink right there as well. Wow, that's way too many doors. Mm -hmm. The garage has sealed doors. It's a two-car garage. It looks like it has some storage as well. A storage closet. And that's all of your uh, furnace, water softener, and the water heater, and a central reverse osmosis system. Let's go check out the rest of the house. I don't think these views could ever get old. So there's an office, living room, dining room, and one and two, two more bedrooms. The master suite is on the main floor. Well, technically this property has four master suites, is that right? Each bedroom has an attached bathroom. Yeah, but this is the master master. This is the master master. This is the suite with 
the greatest views. Wow. And there is a pond right off to the side of this property. We'll take you guys outside in a little bit to show you what that looks like. This is the master bath. There's a detached uh, toilet room. An okay size closet. His and her sink. And a walk-in shower. The shower is a good size and it has a rainfall um, shower head up above. Big jetted tub. Big jetted tub. Let's take a look at the rest of the property. There's lots of nice built-in storage. So there's a linen closet right outside of this bedroom. And this is your second bedroom on uh, main level which also has an attached bath that also has a walk-in shower. And it has an okay size closet. Let's head downstairs. This property has a full-size basement. There's a second living area with uh, a nice fireplace. It kind of just fits into the Entrada style. It's a good size uh, living room, family room, whatever you want to call it. There's an additional storage closet right below the stairs. It's a great use of space. It's not very large, but And then there is two more bedrooms on this level. This room is currently empty, doesn't have anything in it. Also has a closet. And this is the highlight of this house. It has a sauna. Check it out. Probably fit a couple of people in here. It's not incredibly big, but it's a really neat touch. And there's a walk in shower right outside of the sauna. And it's attached to this bedroom. Some additional, actually, this is a second utility room that has the furnace. We'll go outside and check out the views. Yes, sir. This backyard is incredible. There's the door. You can access this backyard through the master. As well as this sliding door. Wait, let me get this out. Oh, it's barred. This home is equipped with an alarm system as well. Let's take a look at these views. I'll give you a tour of this backyard. There's a built-in barbecue. And this stream literally runs across your backyard and into the neighbor's backyard. This is so cool. Neighbors have a pond. I don't know if you can see from here, but there are two ducks. Awesome. Let us know what you guys think about this one. Drop us a comment below this video. Shoot us a text. Give us a call. 
Phone number is 435-319-0989. We'll see you in the next one.